Hello everyone. Here in this session, we are going to discuss a very important recurrence relation that is uh, going to be useful while you are going to solve divide and conquer algorithms like um, finding maximum and minimum. At that time, two uh, t n by two plus two, right? This recurrence relation comes into picture many times. So let me try to solve it and. trying to give you what is the correct answer for this and how to solve this using substitution method using substitution method okay so basically we can write our initial condition like tn equals to 2t n by 2 plus 2 right this is our let's say equation number 1 and just by proceeding as a substitution every time we are going to solve it so it is my equation 1 and let me write equation 2 if i will substitute what i have to substitute i have to substitute 2t n by 2 because this function t n by 2 it is going to occur twicely that is why it is written 2 here as a coefficient term so 2 will remain as it is and inside that i will call it as a 2t and n is already there again i am replacing it with n by 2 it is going to become n by 2 ka square plus this 2 this 2 when i am going to recursively call 2t n by 2 at that time 1 2 will be there and this 2 is already like this this 2 is already a part of previous one and this 2 just because when i have recursively called t n by 2 right now if i will simplify it i can simply write it like 2 square t n by 2 ka square plus 2 ka square right and let's say it is my equation number 2 let's say it is my equation number 2 now let's try to figure out what would be equation number 3 it means that i need to again substitute it if i need to again substitute it Two uh, square, it is already there, and I need to substitute with what factor? Two t n by two. This is my substitution factor. So I will again write it two t n by two. But you already know, already n by two square is there. So again, if I will replace it with n by two, it will become n by two ka cube plus plus. Now what I am doing? you can simply see that in equation 2 when this 2 square is there just because of this 2 multiply with this 2 and this 2 was appending just because of first one right here also if you can see i will write this 2 why this 2 this 2 is because i have recursively called 2t n by 2 and due to that this 2 appear but this appended part 2 square plus 2 it will remain as it is here and if i will try to simplify it it will become 2 cube t thereafter n by 2 cube plus 2 square into 2 it will become 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 right so let's say it is my equation number 3 now after coming up to this part it is it is very easier to generalize it correct because at third equation i am getting this so i am assuming that at k iteration at uh, at k th iteration what is going to happen that it may stop so at k th iteration i can write like 2 to the power k t n by 2 to the power k because in second step it is 2 in third step it is 3 so in k th step when it is going to terminate it would become n by 2 to the power k plus in third step it was 3 so in k th iteration it would be 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 and up to 2 let's say this is my equation number 4 correct now we have to come on the stopping condition so for stopping condition you can see when it is our stopping condition when n will become 2 it is going to stop basically it is only written to terminate from the recursion right to terminate from the recursive part we generally use this correct now at n equals to 2 so how we can assume that uh, n by 2 to the power k it should be 2 because at this point our condition would be terminate so if we want to simplify it if we want to answer it in the terms of uh, approximation 
we have to uh, we have to replace n by 2 to the power k with the stopping value that is 2 now if i want to generalize it i can write it like n equals to 2 to the power what k plus 1 how i can write n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 it is very important term let me write it here n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 it is going to be useful for us right so i have just written down like this now after this much step after this much step what we need to do now if you are going to look out at this uh, equation if you are going to look out at the equation let me make this equation simply by so it is nothing but 2 to the power k into t n by 2 to the power k what it is it is exactly t2 plus 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 up to it is 2 correct so we can write it like 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 and at last it would be 2 after that we can say t2 is nothing but it is 1 because you can see in the recurrence relation the recurrence relation when t the value of n will become 2 it is going to give us answer 1 correct now so how we can uh, write it 2 to the power k into 1 t2 means 1 plus 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 plus 2 to the power 2 and let's say 2 now it is nothing but 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 plus 2 to the power k minus 2 and up to 2 to the power 2 and 2 correct now if you are going to see this is nothing but this is nothing but this part is a gp series this part is nothing but this part is called as gp series so if this part is gp series then we are having a formula here to solve any gp series if you are going to see what is our a here a is our 2 and what is r that is common difference 2 square by 2 that is nothing but 2 correct every time you are going to see 2 to the power k minus 1 divided by 2 to the power k minus 2 2 so common difference is 2 so if we are having first term as a 2 there is a formula that a into r to the power k minus 1 divided by r minus 1 it is a general sum of it is a formula of sum of any gp series sum of any gp series this is general formula for that right after that if we are going to utilize this formula i can substitute here on the place of a that is 2 into r that is 2 what is the value k let b k is it is uh, right now minus 1 divide by r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 it is nothing but if you are going to write it like we can write it like 2 into 2 to the power k minus 2 in the uh, the uh, rest value will become 1 right now we can write it like 2 to the power k plus 1 because 2 into 2 to the power k it will become 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 2 getting it now what exactly 2 to the power k plus 1 guys focus here 2 to the power k plus 1 is nothing but n so let me write it here because it is going to be utilized now what i am writing n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 so i can replace this 2 to the power k plus 1 with what i can replace it with n n minus 2 n for 2 to the power k plus 1 and minus 2 as it is but this is n minus 2 n minus 2 it is the result of this gp series it is the result of what this gp series but before this gp series we are having 2 to the power k right so it is time to solve this series now if i am going to solve this series 2 to the power k plus what i am going to get as a sum of gp series n minus 2 here you can see correct n minus 2 so i will replace this series with 2 to the power k plus n minus 2 and what is 2 to the power k if if you can see here here itself that if n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 then what is 2 to the power k 2 to the power k plus 1 in the power it is like just a second in a power it is written like this so what would be k what would be k you can take a you can write it like log n equals to log of 2 to the power uh, log of n equals to log of 2 to the power k plus 1 and log n 
it could be right it could be written as it could be written as if i am having if i am having what i am having here log 2 and k plus 1 so if it is log 2 k plus 1 right what we just did we just uh, take log on both side so log n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 correct now we are taking just log base 2 by default log base 2 by default right so k plus 1 become here k plus 1 equals to log base 2 n k plus 1 is what log base 2 n log base 2 n you can simply see that what is uh, what is log 2 what is log 2 k plus n so what will be k what will be k in this case what will be k in this case if you are going to see i can write it like i can write it like that we can generalize it if n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 correct how i can write n equals to 2 to the power k into 2 can i write it like or not n equals to 2 to the power k plus 1 i can write it like n equals to 2 to the power k into 2 so 2 to the power k is nothing but n by 2 i can write 2 to the power k as a n by 2 isn't it 2 will come here so i can replace this 2 to the power k as a n by 2 now n by 2 plus n minus 2 what it is if you are going to see n plus 2n divide by 2 minus 2 it is nothing but 3n by 2 minus 2 3n by 2 minus 2 so ultimately if you are going to get the solution this is the final solution 3n by 2 minus 2 so let me write it clearly here let me try to write it clearly that after getting 2 to the power k plus n minus 2 n minus 2 was the sum of this series sum of this series right and 2 to the power k we have solved with the formula this so 2 to the power k is what 2 to the power k it is nothing but n by 2 how we solve we just expanded it we just expanded it how 2 to the power k into 2 i can write it like this equals to n and how i can write 2 to the power k 2 will go to right side so n by 2 correct so i am replacing this 2 to the power k with n by 2 plus n minus 2 right now we can just uh, do it like that 3 n by 2 just by taking lcm 2 to the 2 n Plus n that is three n minus two, getting it. So this is the uh, this is the exact uh, exact uh, figure that we need to solve finding finding maximum and minimum problem. Right. After that, if I want to generalize in terms of time complexity, I can directly write in approximation of order of n because we are doing a priori analysis. a priori analysis means answer would be an approximation so order of n is the time complexity for finding maximum and minimum but uh, but the problem becomes very easier when we can say that uh, we are having so many problem that if we are having 150 teams and apart from 150 team if i want to find the maximum or the winning team if i want to find in the minimum matches then i can directly utilize this formula 3 by 2 into 150 minus 2 and 140 at matches i have to i have to be there in order to find the max and mean getting it so directly we can utilize this formula the resultant of that recurrence relation in exact terminology is 3n by 2 minus 2 and time complexity is order of n i hope whatever i have explained here in terms of substitution method for the following recurrence relation because our target was to solve this uh, recurrence relation uh, using substitution method so final answer we got as 3n by 2 minus 2 right so i hope methodology is clear to everyone further if anybody have doubt or query at any particular point you may ask and i will try to solve it as early as possible from my side thank you so much have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat